Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I would teach you how to track article author in Google Analytics 4. If you run a website that contains a lot of articles and there are multiple authors who can publish articles in your site, then you probably want to know which author's content perform the best. For example, which authors generate the most page views. In this video, I would show you how to measure that with Google Analytics 4 and Google Tag Manager. Let's see how to do it. Here I am on a demo website and let's say that this website has a lot of articles and different authors post them. So let's say that the author of this article is one person and the author of this article is another person. And I want to see which author generates the most page views on my website. About this demo website, this is a WordPress website and there is already set up everything on this website. But if you need to do that on a custom website, then you will need to ask a developer to push the name of the author to the data layer of each article. Here is the code that your developer should implement on your custom website. Basically, it is a data layer push command which the developer should push the parameter author or it might be anything else that you find meaningful. The name of this parameter does not matter in this case. It can be anything you want and then this part must be dynamically replaced by your developer and the value of this parameter should change depending on what is the real author of that article. So in one case it may be XYZ and in other case it might be something else. So just copy pasting this code on the website will not work. This part must be dynamically replaced by your developer and another important thing is that this code should be added above the Google Tag Manager container on your website because in that case this value will be available for you at the earliest moment when Google Tag Manager container loads. So you will be able to see that on events such as container loaded. So now I have already added that code on in my website so we will check that it is working properly or not. To do that you will need to log in into Google Tag Manager here I am already in Google Tag Manager and I am clicking on preview. Let's copy this URL and paste it here. Click connect. Here you can see that page is loaded with Tag Assistant and click on continue. Now I am clicking on this. Here you can see its author name. Now come to preview page. Click here and here you can see message, click on it and here you can see page author, that author name is appearing here. So it means it is implemented properly. Now the next step is to configure Google Tag Manager to cache this information and to send this to Google Analytics 4. To do that, first we have to go to Google Tag Manager variable section, go to Google Tag Manager and Click here variable, click on new, click here, here you can see data layer variable, click on it. Here you need to enter the name of parameter which is visible here. You need to copy it from here, just copy this one and paste it here. Now name the variable. I am naming it page author. You can name whatever you want and save it. Now go to tag section. Click here. Here you can see Google Analytics for configuration. Click on it and click on this area. Here you can see field to set. Click on it. Here we need to enter the name of the parameter that we are going to send to Google Analytics 4. That will be the name of the author. So you can click on add row and then enter something like page underscore author or whatever you want. Now here you can see the value. Uh, just click on this plus icon. Here you can see page author. Click on it and save it. Now we will test it, it is working or not. Click on preview. Copy this URL and paste it here. Click on connect. Here you can see page is loaded with tag assistant. 
now I will click on this post click on it click on continue click on it here you can see page author Jack Smith here you can see page author is Jack Smith now I will click on another post click here and click on it here you can see page author Justin Cam here you can see page author Justin Cam so it means it is working fine now let's go to Google Analytics 4 here I am in Google Analytics 4 here we will test that data is properly receiving or not click on admin section here you can see debug view click on it here you can see page views click on it here you can see page author parameter that we have just added and you can see the author name and here is another page views click on it and here you can see page author that page author is Jackie Smith so far everything fine but we are not done yet because this is a custom parameter and by default other Google Analytics 4 report will now show the data of parameter we have to register it as a custom dimension in order to start seeing the data so now let's click on custom definition and here you can see custom dimension and click on create custom dimension here you can enter any name that you want I am entering page author you can name whatever you want and just leave scope as event now we have to enter the name of event parameter so the name of parameter is the one that we have entered in GA4 field here just copy it and paste it here and save it but before going further make sure that you have published the changes that you made in google tag manager name the changes and publish it after publishing it changes will go live after 24 hours or some time it may take up to 48 hours you will start seeing that data of that custom dimension in your google analytics 4 report after 24 hours to 48 hours now let's see how can you see that data in your Google Analytics 4 report. Click on explore. Click on blank. Here you can see dimensions and metrics. Click on this plus icon. Let's just end up dimension and search for event. Here you can see event name. Select it. And search for page author. Here you can see page author, select it and click on import. Now here you can see matrix, click on it. And we need to check the page views of each authors. So I will search here views. Here you can see views, select it and import. This is the matrix that show the count of page views and screen views in mobile app. Now just double click on these dimensions and matrix. You can see it appeared here and you can see this item there is nothing under page author because I have just implemented it. So we are not seeing any data right now but it will appear after 24 hours. So that is how you can track page author in Google Analytics 4. Thanks for watching.